A demonstration for what they call common sense gun laws. Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. Just days after the murder of a Chicago police commander in a mass shooting at a school in Florida, protesters take to the streets. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live outside Federal Plaza with more on their message and their strategy. Jeremy? Well, good evening, Jim. Those protesters begin their march here at Federal Plaza, stopping at Daly Plaza, ultimately ending up outside of Trump Tower. Many of them experiencing a mix of anger, frustration, and ultimately sorrow. Throw them out! Throw them out! We have been here before. The same tragic results. The same steps. Nothing has been done. But this time, protesters are giving notice their march towards change goes through the ballot box. We are letting our elected officials know that if they continue to choose the gun lobby over the lives of their constituents, this is wrong. We will throw them out. They shouldn't take it out on millions of people that are proper gun owners. So if they tweet one more thoughts and prayers without any solutions, what do we say? I'm a proud gun owner. I want no one to take that away. If they say we should arm teachers because only a good guy with a gun stops a bad guy with a gun, fight fire with fire. What will we do? Oh, if one of them teachers were armed, if they had any kind of training, this would never happen to our kids. Fearing for his own safety, this man asked we not share his name. He is an NRA member. Concerned demonstrations like this will gut his gun rights. I, too, am one of those victims. Jackie Algie of Women's March Chicago says gun violence took her only son, 19-year-old Kenneth Langston. Back in 1995, she adds things have gotten worse, most recently in Florida and far too often in Chicago. I cried with those parents, but I'm crying still as well for myself and other parents who experience this every day. Responsible gun owners, stand up and show us you are responsible by supporting common sense changes that will stop this senseless bloodshed. We reached out to the NRA for a comment on this story. They did not return our message. We are live in the loop. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Jim. Jeremy, thank you.